Alright, yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to start the Clocking Bell Farm Raid, the best way to do it. So, what you want to do is come over to the B Money one and then just obviously shoot the two guards, take the money, and yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's a start. So, yeah, while I'm just grabbing the cash, we always do B first. Don't do A because the further you go away, the less guards you have to kill, if that makes sense. So, obviously, you know, in here, there's, there's three, so there's. You have two as you walk in, and another one spawns once you've emptied out the first washing machine. Second washing machine, then, just basically, if you're on controller or keyboard or whatever you're using, just do it as quickly as you can, because then you want to just try and get this done. Because you only, you have, like, technically, so if you die once and you have your team life, I use your team life, you die again, you fail it. So you have one life um, to use, because, you know, they can't just give you, like, oh, sorry, my phone is blowing up. They can't give you, like, five to six fucking... Lights, because it's just not going to be, you know. It, it, they can't give you, like, five to six lives because, you know, it's, just, it's like a GTA thing, so you can't. You only have one shot, and if you fuck that up, then you fail it. But you, can, you can try it as multiple times as you can, but yeah. So, yeah, I would just say get the money, go back through, leave it, and then uh, exit the business and make your way over to the second. So, yeah, just exit it and then go over to the second one. As you can see, there's a couple of guards outside. You've got to be careful with that. Um, I smacked that out because it got right up in my face. But I would run down this little alley then. Don't go over the gate because it just means you're going to get shot a bunch of times in the back. Duck beer if you really want to get the guards. But be careful because there is a car full of guards approaching which you can see beer. I actually did end up dying here because you'll see it in a minute. The way that I tried to back up was I still had that extra guard there. He didn't have nothing much to do with it. But I sort of backed up and had a car run into me. And then, yeah, my tire got shot out. And it was just, it was fun. Well, it wasn't fun for me. But, yeah, because as my tire gets shot out, I start driving away. And then this other thing of, um, like, guards or whatever they are. I didn't even know they are, to be honest. Come in, so you just start spraying them with a micro SMG. And then, yeah, I went to run into him. It just didn't end well for me. But, but yeah. You guys don't, I do not recommend doing this step. I recommend just forget fucking the guards off and just go to another one. So just go back to A. As you can see, you know, just travel down there. Like I said, always start the secondary one because when you get to A, now you can see A, like, yes, it is further up the map. Um, but you can see there is a bunch of guards there when you go there originally first. So always start with the second one first. Um, but yeah, there is a, another lot of guards coming, but... You just really drive past them. You don't have to kill them. I just sort of run into them. This is where I died here then. Because I ran into them and then they ran me off the road and shot me. So, yeah, that was fun. I dropped the cash, went back for it. And then, to be honest, I made it eventually. But, yeah, that is what I was on about earlier. you got to be careful with these guards. You have to try and get as many as you can. It does also help if you have full amount of ammo. I was lucky enough to get quite a fast car here. So, I could just take the car. Pull the gun out, just start spraying on with the micro SMG. I have this thing where I aim through the windshield for the driver, just to be on the safe side, and then I just kind of dipped, to be honest. I didn't really care about the cash I dropped. I went round, and then I, I sort of went around the back alley, and then, as you can see, my driving is not the greatest, like, but obviously if you guys were doing this, you I assume you lot would be a lot better than me at this game, but yeah, the, these guards were just gone at this point. Yeah, I could I could see a bit of them, but like I, you know, I I I don't know what it is. I wanted to fit. I I don't think you guys should just do that. Just basically ignore that step. But yeah, but yeah, just keep following them down. Uh, did I go back for the cash? Yes, I did, because I am petty like that. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, yes. This is stupid. I shouldn't have done this part. This is the part I shouldn't have done because I get I it means I get shot a bunch of times in the back. And then they just drive past me, and I'm just like, fuck this, I'm going, going, going. But I was lucky enough to get a fast car. It does help if you guys have a fast car to do this with. Don't get something like the oppressor, like what I did, because they end up destroying that, and then you've got no way of getting out. Then. So yeah, try and get like a like a torpedo or something like that, like a T20 or LGR-88. So get something quick to get away from there. But, uh, I just pulled the corner, and then, yeah, but you gotta, you guys got to make sure that you get something quick, because... Phew, Again, something slow, you're going to be stuck there. And then, yeah, it's just they chasing me down, but I'm just ignoring them. Which, in return, looking at it now, is a bit of a dull move. I should have really just took them out earlier, but it's whatever. Yeah, they're trying to spray me. Car, my rifle gets pulled out. They run in, the NPCs get scared, and then it's just a case of reloading, going bang, 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 bang. But, yeah. 
I did have a Widowmaker, but I, I used a lot of that ammo trying to get there um, before I started recording. So yeah, go down the back, you can see this from here. Uh, try and get a bit of cover. cover. Um, you can go behind the boxes. Oh, there's a ladder. This is what I do. What I did. I went up this ladder here because you can get on top of the roof and you can look over. And as you look over, if you tighten the angle, right, they can't see you, but you can see them. See what I mean? And you can just start spraying. Just literally spray them. Oh, uh, but yeah. So yeah, the angle is literally perfect there. Uh, there's another one. Yeah. yeah you get, see, I mean, you get the yeah, overhead view, the bird's eye view, if you will. Apart from this twat up here, this this is a bit piss me off. Um, but yeah. So yeah, just take these guards out quick. It's literally an in and out job here. Just getting the guards and getting it and then going. So yeah, again, jump down, come down the ladder, get sprayed in the back a bunch of times, which is my again another mistake I made. I made a lot of mistakes on this. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I do, hundred percent of the time. Another guard over the back there. Only reason I killed him is because if I if I'd have went in and just came back out, he'd have he'd have shot me a bunch of times in the back. But yeah, it's, did I sticky bomb his car? No, I didn't. I got cover. All right, sticky bomb the car. I could have sworn I sticky bombed the car. Did I? Yes, I did. I then just blow it up on impact, and then you know you 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 make a sh you do a bunch of cool shit. You blow up a car, you know you get away from them. Sweet. You come in here, then carbine rifle out. Bap, 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 same again, same again, one down, wait, two down, Let's finish them both off then, bang, done, get the money again, same thing, finish collecting the money, and then start to leave the business, uh, so yeah, it's pretty easy, I skipped a lot of this, because I didn't want you guys to just watch the same thing all over again, but yeah, come out then, leave the business, get out of there, and you just got to go deliver it to the locker, now, when you're delivering it to the lockup, you want to get there quick, because the quicker you can do it, the quicker you can complete the mission. And you haven't got a bunch of dickheads after you then, like they are in the car. So, yeah, just get the cash. I don't know why I was taking a cup of beer, to be honest. This this is this is stupid. I don't know why I did this before. Just to get that one extra kill for that 25 RP. It's not like I need it. You know, I, I had a lovely modder. Well, I got modded on. I didn't ask him to, but he just joined my session. And oh, I'm going to say no to a bunch of free RP. You done an RP drop on me. That's how my level's so high. So yeah, got this guy here, rammed him, killed him, and then the driver there. You just gotta keep. You literally just have to keep going, moving and shooting, moving and shooting. And then I just raced off then, because the lockup is pretty straightforward to get to. You just gotta kind of zoom down the highway. Hopefully, there's no cars like there is in front of me here trying to you know cut me off or you know NPC just like that. See what I mean? I'm driving all over the place. I, I think I'm panicking at this point. I, I don't want to fail a mission. But yeah, it's easy enough. Just chase them down. Get out of there. Make sure if the guards are following you, just keep going. Don't stop to kill them or nothing like that. Just keep going. Just fly out of there. Literally fly away. Get out of there. Pull the corners around and just go. Because look, once they're off your map, they'll eventually go off your radar. That's what I found with one of the KO heists. Um, I kept going for guards when if I'd eventually just flown out of there. Then, you know, I will do another video on the KO setup and all that. But yeah, this is the initial one of the Clocking Bell farm raid. Uh, this is with Vincent. Uh, he unlocks it. He's, he's, he's just outside your agency. I'm not sure, but I think you can only do this once you've done the Dr. Dre missions. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is only after the Dre missions. Yeah, and then I literally just run you, jump the fence, or just do the alternative thing and run around the gate. But I just jump the fence because, you know, I'm that guy. Uh... Watch the boxes. No, that's not the way to go. Right, there we go. Eventually get there, deliver it, done. Mission complete. About 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.